for today's video, we are gonna see how we can make a single cell like this to a bigger pack like that and the process and why you use uh, different cells for different purposes. This one is a Sanyo 2700B. Uh, which is really good because it has a really high capacity. Pretty simple, we have a 3D printed frame and then we just uh, put the cells, all the, all the wiring, put the BMS and test the puck. This to me looks like a dynamite. Okay, as the first thing, what we did previously, we add this sticker and it makes sure that uh, it helps avoid any shorts. Then after that, we test the voltage of the cells. So we go through each of these. It's important because we make sure that each cell is at the same voltage. So when we do the pack, uh, the pack is uh, consistent. After doing that, grab all the cells, the frame, and we start putting the battery all over here. This configuration is going to be a 10S6P, which means 10 in series and six in parallel. Okay, now we put the frame, so it gives a little bit more extra structure. The pack, it, there is a space between each cells, which means that it's a lot better for heat uh, dissipation. Okay, so um, a really good point of having a frame is that uh, firstly, you don't just rely on the structure of the nickel strip and the welds to keep each cell together but you have the extra frame and also you have an air gap between each cells which means that uh, air can flow through or at least that uh, they don't heat up to each other. So now let's have a look how we weld. So we have, uh, this is a custom spot welder, cost us uh, about $20, so very cheap. This is actually from a microwave and this actually is from uh, uh, our remote controller. So this control the whole system. So it does two welds, it does uh, one very short and one very long and this, it makes the welds a lot stronger. Let's start. Very simple, first one. The process is pretty much the same because we make a lot of uh, custom batteries. So I have this one which I already done on Friday and we're gonna keep going and put the BMS and uh, all the wiring and then uh, we test it and then we finalize uh, all the, uh, the battery. Okay, so we are ready to test the battery. Um, this is the battery finished. All the BMS is connected, all the balancing wiring are connected and we have connected this to our load bench and uh, when we're ready we can just flick the switch and fire it up. So, because we have a really smart BMS, which is this one on top of it, uh, we can read all the information on our uh, software and uh, through this we can read all the information and log all the different problems the customer might have. So, as we do the test, we also check that everything is fine. We also have a little display. Let's show the display. Uh, the, our customer doesn't get this display, but uh, here we can see all the voltage of all the cells. So as you can see, it's a 10S. And uh, state of charge is 62%, that's the voltage, uh, temperature, and so on. So this is the current going through, and that's the voltage. So I just make sure that nothing overheats. Yeah, and then once they pass all the test, we are ready to finalize all the um, uh, soldering joint, the weld point, and then wrap it up and put in a board. Finally, we can test the board and the battery. So, very simple, pop inside the battery, connect all the uh, connectors, put the deck, go out, have fun.